Another brick fan here with a Disney set. This is Mini Disney, The Haunted Mansion. This is set 40521, was released in August 2022. It has 680 pieces, one minifigure, and cost $35 when it was released. Like the Mini Disney Castle, which I reviewed a little while ago, this is another miniature version of a Disney attraction that you will find in the Disney parks. This is a really good looking, this is a really good looking mansion in the theme parks. Here's a picture of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. As you can see, it's a very nicely formed mansion and it has a ride that essentially you go into the mansion, you go down an elevator and then you ride on a two person little cart and you run through a bunch of different haunted scenes with ghosts flying around and all kinds of of different scenery and animatronics and that kind of stuff. It's a very fun ride, a very popular ride. It's a very, very popular ride in October because they retheme the entire ride to be representative of Jack Skellington and the Nightmare Before Christmas. So very popular in October and it's uh, fun to go to at any time of the year, really. As you can see, this set comes with one minifigure, which is the butler. Let's take a closer look at him. So here is our butler and you can see he's got very tired eyes. So real big bags under his eyes. Apparently he doesn't get a lot of sleep. Maybe he's uh, haunted all the time. So that just wears on him. So he's wearing this kind of teal colored tuxedo with a pink vest and then that dual colored tie there. Looks like he has kind of this receding hairline here as his wig color and then the dark navy or blue pants there. Of course, he does have this nice tuxedo tail, soft felt piece that goes around with him that I think turned out very nicely. So the butler only has this one haunted expression. Taking a look at the mansion itself, you see these nice columns that are built up using these candle pieces that are pretty commonly used in the Harry Potter sets. These little kind of windows are all the way around, kind of giving it this nice look from the front and from this side. You can see these angled window pieces here. Smaller windows are built using these dark green and clear one by ones. So it kind of has a stud on the side build for the different layers. A lot of these clip pieces to give that scalloped look along the top. And then of course the very top here is a kind of a tower or rounded column here on the very top, a little uh, antenna piece. Here's some more of those windows. And as you can see, these are stud on the side builds, right? So they go sideways in here to create that, that effect. In the very back here, it's gonna be hard to see in there, but there, this kind of portrays the interior of the mansion. So there's some chandeliers here and candles in the background. There's some statues and other stuff on the tables here. There are five different portraits inside there on little one by two tiles. And here's a picture of the sticker sheet because that's the easiest way to see these. And you see there there's five different ghosts. Well, four different ghosts. And then of course the prophetess. So that's a little floating head inside of a crystal ball. That is one of the creatures you see inside of the haunted mansion. Overall, I think they did a really nice job in creating a very accurate representation of the Haunted Mansion. So just for a quick comparison, let's take a look at this versus the mini Disney Castle. Here's a quick comparison to the mini Disney Castle or Cinderella's Castle that was released last year. You see all these nice pearl gold elements and then these kind of shiny translucent pieces here, which make up the castle which make up the different towers around the castle. I did a full review of this set. I'll leave the link up there, but I just wanted to do a quick comparison to show you these two buildings that are sort of in the same scale. Overall, this is a very nice set. I think it's very representative. It's very representative of the haunted mansion that you see in the theme parks. I like how they did the color scheme with the white and sand green with a little bit of that darker orange coloring or that darker nougat coloring there 
as an accent color. I think it, they really did a very nice job in building this. As far as the value goes, and it's purely on price per piece, you, the price per piece is getting close to that five cents per piece. Is it 680 pieces for $35, which is a great value. Now, keep in mind, a lot of them are very small pieces like these clip pieces, lots of cheese wedges, different. So lots of small pieces since it is a micro scale type build. But still a very good value. And this butler here that comes with it is a very nice minifigure as well. So if you're a fan of Disney and the Disney parks, I think these models... This is another great model in, in this miniature scale that you can display up on your shelves or have as a, as a very nice little display piece. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on the Haunted Mansion in this miniature scale. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more LEGO reviews. I left a link to a couple of my review playlists up here on the screen.